Happy vlog day, my lovelies. It is day to vlog. I have a load of wash in the washer. I just got done putting my face together. We have a lot to talk about today. Well, not really a lot to talk about. A few things to talk about. A few catch-ups, and we may go on a road trip. I'm undecided. I'm going to see how I feel after breakfast. Um, I want to go to Sam's Club, see if they have those um, leg gear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check online to see if my Sam's has them because make sure they're not sold out because this one's going all the way up there. They don't have them. But we're going to, first things first, we had to eat. You know, it is 8.45. I just got out of the shower. I'm all creamed up. So we're going to get breakfast going. I think I'm going to have a taco scramble. You never know what's going to be for breakfast here. What mood strikes me? But today it's taco because I have leftover taco meat and I think it'd be really good in a scramble. I have tomatoes, I have peppers, I have cheese. I have the makings of a taco. So let's get this party started because I'm hungry, we need to eat and we, may, we might be going out. And we gotta talk about the elephant in the room, but we'll talk about that later. I thought I'd voice over this part because it was sizzling was way too loud and annoying. So right here in my pan, I have a little bit of bell pepper, a little bit of onion, and I have a half of Belinsky sausage for one point that I figured I'd just use up because what the heck. So I have that sizzling. I have two eggs scrambling up. I have a whole bunch of eggs out. Don't ask why. It was a mess this morning. So I scrambled my eggs. I'm going to add it into my uh, sauteed veggies as soon as they are tender enough for me and I will add the ground taco meat in there as well but of course I forget to film that because I don't know I'm just still all consumed with eating and not filming but yes sometimes I forget I'm vlogging so here's the finished breakfast you're like how's that good I did add a little bit of taco meat maybe a couple of tablespoons I did a one point's worth of light Mexican blend cheese just because it's Mexican so we got peppers onions half a Belinsky Two tablespoons of the zero point taco meat, two eggs, and a point's worth of cheese. So it's a two point scramble. I'm gonna plate it up and we're gonna top it with a little bit of tomato because why not, right? That's how I look at it. And there's the finished breakfast, topped with a tomato, lots of fresh, fresh fracked black pepper, a slice of gluten free bread for two points, three bites. So it is a 4.5 bite breakfast. Delicious, can't wait to dig in. This is gonna be very different and very lovely. I can't wait. I had some shredded iceberg lettuce. I think I'd put that on there too, because it just feels like it needs it. But, oh, I might add a little hot sauce or taco sauce to the top of that. I think that's an order. All right, my lovely vlog, we are on the road. We are heading to Sam's Club. They did have the puff corn. So I'm gonna roam and grab it. This is limited time, so I know it's food. Made by the lovely Wendy. Anybody wants to get one? You just have to message Miss Wendy Murray. W-E-N-D-I. You know, Wendy, Weight Watchers with Wendy. Or no, no, Wendy's WW Journey, I think. I can't get channel names straight, you know that. So yes, this is the vlog, of course. We will vlog a little bit and then we will ramble on the way back. So let's talk about why I'm wearing this halter monitor. Well, you probably know if you know you've been around me. Um, the last, actually, kind of found out the last time I gave blood. But, you know, I give blood at the Red Cross. I try to go once a season, like seasonal. Sometimes twice, it depends. Um, they, they weren't going to draw me. They said, your pulse is too low. Well, my, my pulse is too low. Normally, like, you're in th a situation like that. I'm nervous, you know, nobody... You know I've done it. It's still I still get that nerve thing going, and I was like shocked that it, oh, that was my purse. They so I had to sit around. They kept taking it. It did go up a little bit. Nothing, you know. It was like 44. So they did to wind up taking it, and then I was the pulmonologist had called me about my machine. He was lowering the pressure. I had a visit like a few weeks before. And he wanted to see a week of how I didn't ask me how I, because he had lowered it when I was there. He, he called to see how I was feeling. He said, your numbers are great. I said, yeah, I feel fine. It's, I don't feel, I said, I felt a little bit better because I was having, I was like, I think it was aspirating air. I was getting air, it was just too much. 
because I have improved since I got the CPAP, but not enough to, to not warrant it. So I mentioned to him about this and he went back. He said, well, when you were here, it wasn't like your pulse wasn't like that, but it wasn't like significantly higher either. He said, you know, with the sleep apnea, he says, why don't you go get evaluated by a cardiologist? I'm like, okay, because don't we all do that? So he recommended somebody. I went in, I had the appointment yesterday. Yes, yesterday. And took an EKG. He's like, yeah, your pulse is low. <laughs> and I, I said, it, and I explained to him, I've been keeping an eye on it now that I've, you know, been aware. Um, I said, I have been feeling a little bit tired. I mean, not anything, you know, just lack of, of motive, or motivation, energy. So we put this halter monitor on. And I said to him, which is weird, is when I do my glam squad walking workout, back in, you know, when I was always, I've been doing it for years now, my pulse, I would always see, I would always check, my pulse is getting up to like 130, 140, 150. I said, doesn't go really much above 90, which is odd. <laughs> so we have this halter monitor on, we're going to see, you know, the yings and yangs of it. Um, also, I have a stress test on a week from tomorrow, Thursday. It's uh, it's a it's a non-nuclear one. It's just get me on the treadmill, seeing what happens, see what my heart does when it's you know. So that's that. And like I said, and it's he kind of mentioned. He says, you know, as you age, he says your heart rate does tend to go down a bit. He said you're not quite at that age yet. He said if you're running low at 56, he said. You know, if you don't go up, he's concerned about that. There's my keys. Um, because, you know, he says, you know, maybe down the line you'd be, um, you might need a pacemaker because, you know, you got to get, your cart rate can't be let that low. Oh, that's wonderful. Arthritis, cataracts, and now I'm a candidate for a pacemaker. Shoot me now. I'm not really... I'm not trying not to dwell on it. I mean, so I have a little, I love you. These are like, it looks like a, like a, I mean, back when I was in the, you know, working at the office, pacemakers were like big EKG machines. You had leads, you had a pack on the side. I was like, this is a little thing that just sticks on. It's very little. Um, there's a button in the middle if I have like any kind of questionable discomfort. I have to press it and then write in a little book that, you know, what it felt like, the time, the date. So when they go back to read it, they would go over the book and see, you know, what happened at that particular, if there was any kind of significant thing. But yeah, you could shower with it. You just can't face the shower. The shower has to be, my back had to be to the shower. So that's what it was. It was hard though. It was hard facing, not facing the shower. I'm like, oh man. I did it. I had to wait 24 hours to take a shower, which I went right at 20, right at that 24 hour mark. I was in there. I'm like, yeah, because I, you know, I got to get my day going here. I got a vlog to make. So, Ricky, I don't know what else I'm going to get there. I don't have a list in my head. I don't know if I need anything. Um, I definitely want to get the um, popcorn. Maybe check out the protein see if they have any kind of sometimes they'll run like you know it's, it's I don't know word seasonal but protein drinks aren't always you know always in stock there so I'll see if they have anything I'm pretty good I mean I'm low on cinnamon roll pumpkin which I don't really want pumpkin now anyway I just got peanut butter chocolate I could probably use a vanilla if they have it I do like the Fairlife vanilla though I would get the premier vanilla so that's all I had I don't do the chocolate I don't know what it is about me and chocolate protein. Unless it's the peanut butter chocolate. Peter, I should have done. I don't, know, I don't know if I scanned it. I think I did. I don't know what it was. On Prime Day, he bought this new protein he's been wanting to try. And it's peanut butter. He thinks it's phenomenal. He thinks it's really good. And I know it wasn't too bad. I don't remember the points, though. I know I scanned it. I don't remember. I'm totally blanking out. I feel like it wasn't bad, so I don't remember. But, but you know, if I remember, I will uh, show it to you when we go home. He said it was really good. 
if you're interested. Like, I know some people are big on protein powders, and some people aren't, and that's fine. You don't have to. I'm not telling you to go out and buy it. But I hate that. I hate when, when you're watching somebody's YouTube channel, and, like, I don't want to be that girl that sits there and says that. Oh, this is the best ever. Go out and buy it. No. If you're thinking about it, and you want to try it, and I like it, then, yeah, maybe you can try it. But don't buy something because I use it. You know? That's, that's my two cents on that. And I guess I'm, so that's the ultra monitor. Uh, um, this time, oh, we have a Thrive Market box to open. It came yesterday, and I have not had a chance to open it, so I thought it was it for the vlog today. It came as I was going out to go to Timmy's for dinner. I'm like, oh my god, Thrive Market's here! I'm like, oh, I'll see it for tomorrow. So it's my Thrive again. I just like Thrive Market. I like having the convenience of ordering those kinds of things online. And what I love, I mean, yes, it's five dollars a month to belong. I paid up front. I paid it up front. But they have really good prices and they price match. So I like that. I like a store that's if you see it somewhere else, they'll give you that price. And I, I believe that GNC does that too because when I was there. It was a while ago, it was a couple months now, I guess. Um, they had the Quest crackers, which are not gluten free. Let's not talk about that. Um, and she just got a restock, and I said, Oh, I usually get my Amazon for 21. She goes, We'll match that. I'm like, Okay, so I bought them there for 21. So I didn't have to worry about ordering them. I picked, you know, so yeah, check out your GNC and they will price match. Like, I know, like, Bear Bells are ridiculously expensive there. So, you can say, hey, Trader Joe's has them for, well, it used to be $1.99. Now, I think it's somewhere since $2.29. They did go up. Which, I do need a Trader Joe's run. I do. I need to get there before, like, all the good summer stuff's gone. Why did I go this way? I don't know. I think I kept thinking of the traffic that way. So, we're going to go this way. Whatevs, right? Whatevs. It's all good in the hood. It's all good. So I will end this little vlog portion because I don't want this vlog to be too long. I'm trying to be better at time management on the vlog, but I'm not. But I will catch you later for probably lunch and the Thrive Market unboxing. And uh, check in soon. Popcorn. Is she not a thing of beauty? I call it the Lake Air Popcorn Mountain. And I'm grabbing a box. I've never seen these before. They are freeze dried strawberry slices, no sugar added. So I'll we'll have to get them because we've never seen them before. Steve's favorite skinny pop. That's another really good popcorn. Skinny pop. Okay. Another one of my favorites. Pop chips. I've never seen these here. These are popular with people. These fruise balls. I don't like them, but they're really pointy. These, these are only six points a bar, honestly. They're not bad for all those nuts and fun things, but yeah. Nature Valley, $16 for 30 bars. Really not a bit. I don't really need any bars, but honestly, locally you can get these. And honestly, I think they're really good. And there's chocolate, so it's a win-win. Well, since I'm here, let's grab some Canadian bacon. This is also a really good deal. This oven roasted turkey breast. It's just all turkey breast runs to by the pound. So this one is like $17. It's actually a really good deal. So this is a highly recommend. No turkey pastrami. They do have the four pepper turkey though, but no turkey pastrami. Yeah, these intrigue me. It's called the Better Bar from Members Mark. They're six points. Yeah. Well, we, might, we might grab these. Alright, we're entering the protein world here. 
Okay, we have Premier Vanilla, Premier Chocolate. We got Bill Puffs. There we go, Puff Bars. Quest Bars, Quest Chips. Oh, not a fan of the organ, sorry. Uh, what else do we have? Ooh, we have Caramel, which I don't need, but it's a good one. Robert Irvine's, I hear really good things about his bars, but yeah, way too rich for my blood. We got more Robert Irvine. Ooh, we got Oregon. Yeah, we don't like this either. Oh, here's some Premier Coffee. Cafe Latte. <gasps> here's the Fair Life, but they only have chocolate. Alas, they only have chocolate. Oh, let's see what they have down. Wait a minute. I'm not done yet. They have their own brand of shake, which I don't know if I've seen this before. But, yeah. More, oh, there's PB Fit. Always a good price here. 10 bucks for that big jar. They have muscle milk. Pure protein bars, not a fan. <laughs> Vital proteins, not a fan of these either. So we have, oh, we have Premier Vanilla. We have Mini Quest cups too. I don't want those. Greens, I hear they're terrible. Atkins bars, strawberries and cream. Slim Fast and more Atkins and Atkins bars. So yeah, that's the gist of what we have in the premier section, the protein section. All right, here's a quick haul. The things I got from Sam's, it's not a lot. They're just expensive stuff. I got two packs of premier protein that you don't go to see, a vanilla and a cafe latte. I got the cafe latte for Steve. Keeps them out of my stash. You do what you do, you know? Um, I did get these. Maybe I showed you them in the store. They're called the Better Nut Bar Pack with Almonds, Cashews, and Walnuts. There's the nutritional information. Um, they came to six points and seven Better Balanced Bites. They're not real big on protein. They're six grams, but they just sounded like a nice little treat. Because sometimes you want nuts, you want chocolate. They don't want to break the bank. And again, I won't open two bars, so I like that. I got these. No added sugar, freeze-dried strawberries. Now, yes, they are points, but there's no added sugar. So technically, you could treat them as a strawberry. But, you know, the sugar concentrates when you dehydrate it. So it is, um, it says one serving is one and a third cups of fresh fruit, 100% strawberries. And a serving is third of the pouch, which is, you know, 28 grams. I would never have that much. These are really good on top of yogurt as a crunch, and it is technically fruit. So yes, there's points, but it's good points. So always remember that. Out of lettuce, I just went with the romaine hearts. Didn't know what I wanted, so I went with the romaine hearts. There's a salad kit that uh, kind of interesting to me. Kicking Buffalo Ranch. I don't know, this sounded good. Yes, there's points to this. I understand that. But sometimes you just gotta. And we enjoy these. Imitation crab. Yes, there's points to this too. It's usually three points a serving. And these were on special. And I did talk about this in the video. It might have been in the rambling. I don't think it was in, yeah, it was in the rambling. I talked about um, trying to try these. These are $16 for four steaks. Four Prime beef, marbled, um, top sirloin. So we're gonna see how these are on the grill. I'm giving up my buying expensive meats. Just been there, done that. Canadian bacon, you know. You know, if you know. Broccoli and cauliflower have been my go-to lately. I, so I got a pot of broccoli last week. It was cauliflower, this week it's broccoli. And for the boys, for a little treat for their birthday, I got them some smoked salmon. because. Uh, this is zero points, so I love putting this on top of a two-ingredient dough bagel bun, cottage bun. So I'm looking forward to this. We might have this for the next couple of days. So, oh, what do you mean so, Denise? Why did you go to Sam's for this? The Lake Air Mini Bags of Popcorn. Three points each. You get eight classic, eight cinnamon bun, and eight pancake. I'm sorry, not sorry. I had to get these because I love them. And this will keep me in tune because I tend to eat too many of these. So I hear they're available at Sam's Clubs in the Northeast. So if you're in the Northeast section, you know what, what I did, do what I do. You go on samsclub.com and you search the store and see if it's there. That's why I went because mine had it. So I think ah, I'm going because, you know, it's limited time and I didn't want to miss it. I probably should have gotten two boxes, but maybe. 
but yep. These are three points a bag. So worth it. So delicious. The pancake is my favorite. It's slightly addictive. So that is my little Sam's Club haul. All right. Got my Dunkin' green tea. What are we doing with it today? Strawberry lemonade. It's been my favorite. I've been enjoying it. So every time I get one, that's what I do. And I will, I think I've mentioned that I feel like this enhancer is perfect for this size. I tried it with a medium and I thought it was too strong. But you know what? You might like it. So I always say, you do you, boo, and let me know how much you like it. So give it a good stir. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Tea and water. I'm a two-fisted drinker. Let's throw a tasting in here. What are you tasting today, Dee? That's for you, Amy. Kashi Go Lean and the Cinnamon Crisp. This is 13 grams of protein per serving, and a serving is one cup. It's 230 calories, and there is 13 grams of protein. It is seven points and seven bites. You could think that that's a lot, but what the reason I purchased this, this of course is before I was gluten-free, so now I can't eat. I mean, I could eat it. I mean, like I said, gluten doesn't kill me. It doesn't make me sick. It just makes me inflamed. Um, I got it for yogurt. I use a quarter cup is two points. So I didn't think a quarter cup of that for two points was a lot. So Peter opened it. So I, didn't, I was at the store. I'm like, you open? I have to try that. So I put it in the container. We always put stuff in our zip um, lock and locks for cereal. <clears throat> so let me show you what it looks like. It's got a mix of pieces. You got clusters like that. And you have little pieces, you know, it's kind of clustery. I mean, you have smaller clusters. So you would, I would wait in grams to be, to make it easier. Because so a cup would be 62 grams. So a quarter of that, 20, 40, 60, like 15 grams would be the serving. So much easier. Put your, put your yogurt on your scale. Measure out 15 grams of granola. That's how I would do it. But let's taste one and see what we think of it. Because what if we don't like it? What if it tastes like crap? I ain't putting it on my yogurt if it tastes like crap. But the, like, what I say flavor was again? Cinnamon crisp. We also got the peanut butter, but this one expired first. So here we go. Hmm. Cinnamon. Crunchy. I like it. You hear the crunch? Perfect for granola. Perfect as a granola swap. Would I eat a cup of this for seven points for breakfast? I would not. I personally would not. Maybe you think it's enough. I would probably be like, yeah, I'm looking for more. But as a quarter cup for two points on top of my one point yogurt or my zero point yogurt, I'm all in for it. So yes, I give this four out of five stars for me. This was good. Can we taste the peanut butter? But Kashi is such a good brand. It's such a wholesome brand, you know? It's because there's good things in there that you know, you want to add into your life. So that's a win for me. So score one for D. All right, time to craft a zero point lunch because I am in the Weight Watchers Summer Reset Challenge and it's five days of zero point lunches. Has it been hard? Eh, honestly, if I had been a little bit more prepared, it wouldn't have been as hard. That's my problem. So we're going to have a little bit of light tuna because that's zero points. <laughs> Tomorrow will not be on the challenge because we will not be home. So, I mean, I'll do, I'll do well, but I will not be zero points. So what I'd like to do is take, I'm splitting this because I don't want a whole can. Not that I couldn't eat one, but I'm intending on having a snack. So I'm going to mix it with some not fat Greek yogurt because it's zero points. And I always drain off. I don't think you can see it. We'll do this. That that way. Yeah, you don't need it. Every time I see it, I drain it off. I'm just going to throw a little bit. Just a little. Kind of give it that mayo effect. I wonder if I'd use a teaspoon of mayo. It would probably be zero points. There's one tablespoon. Is one. I mean, a teaspoon might be. You know, probably would have worked. Now that I think about it. And I'm going to throw some of this 
I have no idea where there's points in. I'm going to assume that there isn't because I'm not going to use that much. I got this at an Amish bulk store. It's called Horseradish Powder. Now, I'm not using a lot. You know, if I was using a half a cup, I'd be like, yeah, maybe there's points in that. But we're just going to use maybe a half teaspoon. Maybe a little of this Kinder salt, pepper, and garlic because, you know, a little bit of... What I'm going to do is I'm also going to make a dip with this for some vegetables. So there's my tuna. Smell that horseradish. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit more of this yogurt in a bowl, which I did right over here. Let's make a little veggie dip. Maybe... I mean, barely a quarter. Uh, maybe I can make them a cup. There's a quarter cup here. I'll leave it off. Zero points. I know. I totally know. And we're going to go back to the powder again. And make a little, same amount. So we can get a little dip for our pepper, cucumber. And radishes. So that's what's for lunch today. Tuna with some cucumbers, radishes, bell pepper, and heart of palm. I'm obsessing about these. I mean, they taste like an artichoke. I don't know. I got them on Amazon. If you want, I will link them. And because honestly, compared to the store price, they were pretty much the same, maybe even a little bit cheaper. You got 12. They're a Goya. I'll show you. It's right here. It's not bad. There they are. Whole hearts of palm. The 20, 35 calories for half the can. So, like I said. And it's Goya. It's a name you can trust. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that the commercial? Goya, a name you can trust. So, make a little veggie dip, you know, that's all. You can put garlic in here, zero points. There we go. So I'm actually going to grab this little knife and cut my, maybe you might want to watch, though it's a little bit of a mess here. I'm going to cut our pepper. Do you see it? Ah. Did I make up the word these seed? I don't know. Maybe I did. Okay. <laughs> and just slice it. Oh, nice little fun ready strips. There we go. One vegetable. Done. We have some nice radishes ready to go. And I love these. There we go. Look at that. A nice radish for our plate. And you can scoop the tuna, you can scoop the dip. Peel the cucumber because sometimes you get these from the local farm stand and the skin's really thick. I really love the English cucumbers because I don't have to peel those, but these, and the seeds are so big on these, look at them. That's why I don't grow my own cucumbers, I don't like them. <laughs> Give me it. I wish you can grow English cucumbers, but yeah, this is not worth my time. Too seedy. And we might as well finish this off because it's a cucumber. And our hearts of pine. Look at that. Have our dip. And we have our tuna. That's a zero point lunch. That's a lot of food. A lot of, a lot of roughage, but you can do it. It's been a fun challenge. I think it's just giving you something to think outside the box. Challenge yourself to come up with zero point lunches because I wouldn't have these every day, but every once in a while, you need to save up points for dinner. Don't skip it. Eat that like this. It's a no-brainer. But some people will skip because 
they fear dinner, they can't have too much, they have to be under their calorie deficit stuff, you know. But you still are eating vegetables. So I'm gonna go enjoy this. Having a snack today, they have a caramel rice cake with two points of almond butter and a point's worth of Lily's white and dark chocolate chips because, you know, I'm sorry, I'm using the point up because I feel like it. That's my snack today. Five points. Alrighty, my Thrive Market box came yesterday. I thought I'd save it for the vlog today. You know, I'm a big Thrive Market fan. Again, can we say this over and over again? Denise is not here for a hard sell. You're not interested in Thrive Market? You can fast forward through this part. No offense, but Thrive Market is where I get a lot of my healthier, organic, sustainable brand dry goods. Um, they're filtered by your lifestyle, plant-based, keto, vegan, gluten-free. The guaranteed savings at low cost. It is membership-based. It costs me $5 a month. I paid mine up front. I pay for my own membership. I pay for my own goods. This is not sponsored. Um, it's just that I just like getting good quality things. Like, I like going to Sprouts. I like going to Whole Foods. I can't always get there. And it, I would probably spend more than $5 in gas going when I do go. So this absolutely saves me. And what's great about Thrive is they price match. So if you see something that you want on there and you see it less, they will price match that. So to me, that was the reason I went with a Thrive Market membership. So I always share when I order. I order maybe once a month, sometimes twice. It just depends. Depends on you know, what I feel like ordering. But you know, um, they have different deals. Every time I order, there's always some kind of a free gift. I have a free gift today. So it's kind of, they're always throwing these little freebies in there. So I kind of like that. You have to reach the threshold of $49 to have free shipping. And for me, that's not hard. So I usually always have free shipping because I usually spend about $54 to $56 usually in Thrive Market for the things that I love. But they have such really quality things and really cool things. And things, like I said, I love to go with, I can get to Whole Foods, I can get to Sprouts and find them. But they're not in my area so it's by the time it takes me the 35 minute ride and the gas i can do it online and not even leave my house in this heat so i will link them down below i believe it's a refer friend it's not an affiliate link or anything i can refer friends and i believe they get 40 percent i think you get 40 percent off your box give a friend 40 percent off their first order and i earn cash back again you're interested don't worry about it you know it's just i don't like ever want to be like oh my god the hard sell. it's not a hard sell here i'd love to share fun finds that i find and hope maybe you find them interesting too all right let's see what i got and they pack everything so well so well now these i tried these from them it was a gift it was a aloha multi -bar, multi bar box that came the one month for free so i got to try i would have never purchased these but because they came free i got to try them so i love the cookie dough one 14 grams of protein i believe they were five points don't quote me on that i don't remember i should have scanned it but i didn't I haven't opened the box yet so i really really enjoyed it so i wanted to get a box that's in my cart to order and I've, I'm trying to find some gluten-free pasta. I'm just, I'm not trying to be totally, totally gluten-free. I call myself gluten-free light, you know, just minimal gluten, you know, because I apparently have a, um, a little allergy to it. It's not anything that causes me difficulty. It just causes me inflammation. So like I said, if I was getting sick, yeah, well, I'd be totally gluten-free, but I'm not. But I've been looking for interesting pastas and this one they had little shells. I think I, you had to buy two boxes, so I got two boxes. So I'm inter interested in making some gluten-free pasta salad. So I thought I wanted some fun shells. And I wanted some orzo. If you watch me, you know this girl loves her orzo. So they had the cassava orzo was another two pack. So I got the grain-free organic gluten-free orzo so i'm interested to try that in a pasta salad or maybe even a soup that would be fun as well because i love orzo and soup ditalini orzo my favorite things my favorite pastas oh, here's the other one i knew it was a two first out so i figured this would make a great you know I'm Italian. We like pasta fazool, which is kind of a, depending on, on, on your mother's recipe, some like it, make it soupy. Some make it more like a pasta. My mother made it more like a pasta. It was very thick. 
I totally prefer it as a soup. So I think we're going to have some pasta fazul when Timmy's around because it's one of his favorites. So I'll make that. He probably you know, something like that with all the tomatoes and the beans going on, he might not notice that the, that the pasta's not quite like he's used to having it. But you never know. I mean, I tend to like the brown rice pasta versus the chickpea pasta. Not a fan of the chickpea. It just was too gummy for me. And like I said, you have to like the food you're eating. And I didn't like it. So, and if I don't like this, I'm not going to buy it again. And if I don't like any of the gluten-free pastas, I'm not going to buy them again. But I figured I would try them. Give them the benefit of the doubt. It happens occasionally it does all right they had a deal on fit joy pretzels i will tell you out of everything gluten-free the pretzels are freaking amazing if nothing else you need to try gluten-free pretzels they're so cr you've heard me crunch on them oh my gosh i will if i ever go back to eating gluten full-time i will still eat gluten-free pretzels they had the hatch chili hatch chili lime I've never had these. But I like this brand. It was very nice, like I said. The um their five points of serving, which is you know, for pretzels is pretty standard. So I got the hatch chili lime. Get it by three flavors or four, I remember. The tangy Dijon mustard. Oh, I love these. So good. Two hatch chili lime, because I've never had them, but and I did get a sea salt, a plain one. So it was a four pack. They were having running a special on those. So I got a four pack. These were what was free this month, this trip for me. It's Enjoy Life, free from 14 allergens, light and airy lentil chips, dill and sour cream. Like seriously, I was all in for that. So yeah, and what's great about Thrive, if you have a food allergy, you could put that in there and you won't see any of the foods as a choice to come up, which is kind of nice because let's face it, who has time to read all those labels? I don't. So I put in gluten-free, so only gluten-free options come up for me. Now, if I wanted to sit there and look for something with gluten, I could, but as a, you know, if I'm just searching in general, they will not come up for me. Or oh, these, I want to try. I should have scanned the points. I'll come back and tell you how many points these are. These are wraps, and I was intrigued. Applewood smoked tomato sandwich wraps. One wrap is equals one serving of fruit and vegetables. They are plant-based, they are gluten-free. They're that color. I don't know, I thought that looked really interesting. They had a couple different ones. 40 calories for one wrap. You know, I'm looking for a wrap. I'm interested in trying these. So they had a couple different, like I said, they think they had a carrot one, a tomato. Was it a pepper? I don't remember the third one. I thought there was the third one. These just looked really interesting. I thought, look at that. I mean, I just love that. This just looks like, what a fun little way to have fish. So I thought I wanted to try those. And there's one more thing, which I do really like these, but these are actually for Peter because he adores these cookies. These are the High Key Mini Cookies Double Chocolate Brownie, nine grams of protein, three net carbs, and they're gluten-free. I get to have a couple, but I got these for him because he likes this brand, the High Key. Seven cookies, 140 calories, like I said. So it's not a bad idea for, you know, it's not a bad option for a cookie. You know, sometimes we need to like clean up our act a little bit. A store like this will help you out with that. It'll make it a little bit easier. You know, they're not, they don't really sell crap on there. If you want to clear the crap out of your life, you should try Thrive Market. Like I said, I'll have them linked down below. You know, no hard sell here. If you want if you're interested and if you're not that's okay too so let's go on let's, we gotta go up and we gotta make dinner we're having grilled steaks and roasted potatoes hmm, we get a little excited for that but yes let's go make our dinner have the steaks marinating with a little steak seasoning nothing nothing extravagant but there they are they're gonna sit here for a few more minutes i'm gonna put the roasted potatoes in the oven to cook just chopped up potatoes olive oil and again steak seasoning on them as well so this is how I prep. We're going to have this little salad on the side. So easy dinner tonight. I'll probably, I will have whatever my points of my steak is. <coughs> Two points of potatoes. <coughs> Excuse me. And whatever the points is for the fancy salad I have. But I will show you my dinner plate. Here is my completed dinner. There is my 10 point steak. Some sauteed onions for zero. Two points of roasted potatoes. Four points of a salad kit. So yeah, having a zero point lunch did help me out today. 
to have this 12 plus 4 is 16 point dinner tonight. There you go. Utilize your zero point foods. So you can have a nice, delicious dinner like this. Can't wait to dig into this deliciousness. So you got to see my dinner. Oh, was, see, having a zero point lunch afforded me the points for a steak like that. So I kind of get why they're doing it. I wouldn't have a zero point lunch every day, but how do we make a zero point lunch? It's giving us five days to do that. So I thought it was a great little, and it worked out really good today. But I wanted to show you this because I made this for, you saw in my haul that I held some smoked salmon. Well, I made me a cottage bun for tomorrow. Look at that. This is a plain old cottage bun. I'm a bit excited. I could have made it tomorrow morning, but I figured let's get it done tonight. Less I have to worry about in the morning. So yeah, I'm gonna have a little, toast that up with some smoked salmon. Ugh. Life's good, life is good. So that is it for a day of my life. I'm gonna get ready to go live. And I thank you for spending the day with me and doing our errands and chatting and talking about the elephant on my chest. And um, now tomorrow, we're going out for C's birthday, the four of us, Patrick has to work. And he was on furlough, so, so we're taking extra time off. Um, there may be a vlog. I don't know, we're gonna see how it goes. I vlogged last time we went down there and it was a lot of fun. So we're going on this little um, cruise down the Chesapeake. Don't ask me, I'll know more tomorrow. So maybe there might be another bonus, that'd be two bonus videos this week. I don't know, I must like you guys. I do. So, never know where we're going. I know there's going to be like a fun lunch involved. There's going to be a little cruising. We have a little munchies for the cruise. I made some shrimp. Got some charcuterie. So, we've got a little bit of munchies on the beach. A lot of bring food. So, we're bringing some munchies. So, maybe, maybe there'll be a bonus video. You just never know here on Dish With D what she's going to upload, when she's going to do it, and when she does it. But, is it for this video this is done and dusted i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed seeing me go to sam's and i showed you a few things that i got and we kind of looked around while we were there but i'm excited excited to have that popcorn yes i'm very excited it's on my little thrive market order like i said but if you're like me and don't feel like driving 25 minutes and i can get the same stuff there at the same prices I'm all for that. So I'll have them linked down below. If you're interested, you will get 40% off your first box. It's like I said, it's not an affiliate link, it's just a referral friend. So I'm your friend, so it's all good. So if you don't see a vlog, you will see me on Saturday for weighing a meeting topic, but you never know what's gonna happen on, happen on Friday. So if you enjoyed this vlog today, give it a thumbs up, comment below what you thought you'd wanna try, what you'd wanna buy. You gonna go get yourself some popcorn at Sam's? Let me know. And I will dish with you another day. Thanks for spending the day with me, guys. Ta-ta for now.